welcome back to our next episode on Treat Yourself. So for today, we're going to try out Mr. and Mrs. Nasi Lemak. As you all know, Nasi Lemak is one of the favourite hawker dishes in Singapore. For today, we're going to try out their basic Nasi Lemak set. So over here, their basic Nasi Lemak set includes an egg, there's some acha for those acha lovers, there's slices of cucumber, and also fried anchovies, also known as ikan bilis. And also, they have peanuts inside here. So over here, we have one chicken wing and one drumstick. So this is their basic nasi lemak set. But for over here, we actually added uh, additional ota. So we are going to try them out. We are going to try their fried anchovies first. This is really crunchy. <laughs> and really fragrant. I think it goes well with the rice. Um, Okay, for the rice, when I was here, I could really smell the rice from afar. So, as I was sitting here waiting for them to actually cook up all the other ingredients just now, I think the first thing that caught me was actually the smell of their rice. Yeah, it's really fragrant. I like the strong coconut and banana leaf taste. It's really really nasi lemak. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try the the acha. So I'm going to add a bit of rice. Nah, this is quite appetizing. Well, normally, I eat acha with chicken rice. Okay, it's quite interesting. Now I eat it with nasi lemak. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to try the egg. I think the, there's still some egg yolk that is flowing out. Yeah. I like that the egg yolk isn't fully cooked. <laughs> no. You can see the egg yolk it actually sit into the rice. Hmm. I'm going to try their sambal. Goes well with the rice and other ingredients. Let me try again. <laughs> yeah, the summer is just right. So I got their chicken wing here and the drumstick. So I think I will try their chicken wing first. delicious. I like the skin. I think the, I think the seasoning is just right. I think the meat inside is well cooked. It's delicious. Yummy. All their ingredients are freshly cooked daily as well. I really like the skin. Okay, so I'm going to try their ota now. So I think I need to share with you guys that I really love ota. I always travel around I think Singapore to find different kind of otas. So I'm going to try their ota over here. I'm gonna eat it. This is good. Quite nice. <gasps> 
So now I have some ingredients over here. So over here is not your typical nasi lemak. So they actually have other kinds of ingredients. For example, they are curry vegetable or they are crispy pork belly. There's also their samba batai. And also they call it their kawa ibi for their shrimp. And they also even have crispy spring rolls and their bacon mushroom and also their roasted pork. So I'm going to try each of them now. So if you like variety, you should definitely come here and order other kinds of ingredients. So first is their curry vegetable. So they have cabbage and long bean inside their curry. So there's a generous amount of vegetables. So I'm going to try them. I'm going to mix with a bit of rice. Yeah, it's nice. I've never tried nasi lemak with curry vegetables. So, I think it's a... Yeah, I think it goes quite well. It's just that the rice is coconut. So, the curry also has coconut. So, it's like... If the thing is quite blending, I guess. Not bad. This is for curry vegetable lovers. I'm going to try their crispy pork belly. Oh, it's really... it's quite hard. But I don't know how it's going to taste. Because I've never eaten like such deep fried crispy pork belly before. Oh. Mm. And taste the fat inside. I think it's quite nice. Okay. It reminds me of popcorn chicken. Mm. It's not bad. Definitely not the typical kind of nasi lemak that I've eaten. I'm going to try their samba patai. I seldom come across this dish. So I pair wow. my nasi lemak. Hmm. No? The Chinese call it the to to or something. But with the rice, I think it's actually quite siang. Like quite fragrant. So people who like the samba patai, just come down and try it. So I'm going to try their kawa ebi. So it's actually small baby fried shrimps. Yeah, there's even the head and the legs too. I'm gonna try it with a bit of rice. Crispy. Goes well with the rice. Quite an interesting dish. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try their crispy spring roll. So I think I won't eat it right, so I'll just eat it by itself on its own. So I'm gonna try it. Hey, inside. It actually tastes like wu xiang, you know. There's actually bee hoon inside. Bee hoon and some, I don't know, some meat. Oh, it's interesting. <laughs> For crispy lovers, you will love it. I'm going to try their roasted pork. It will be a rice and a bit of sambal. It's very juicy. 
but there's a like when I first beat it, there's like a thin layer of skin. So it's very really crusty. But the overall meat I think it's soft and it's chewy. So you wanna add on some roasted pork into your nasty lemak. I think you can try it. So this whole dish on this is more Chinese. Because of all the different kind of fusion. <laughs> Uh, also a bit of Korean because I see there's like bacon mushroom you know I think it's very Singaporean I'm gonna try last but definitely not the least I'm gonna try their bacon mushroom so I normally eat bacon mushroom in K-BBQ so I'm gonna try this this is nice. Delicious. That will be a curry. I think overall, I think that I really enjoyed the curry vegetable. And I really love their sambal putai and also their bacon mushroom. So it goes really well. Although it's not the usual nasi lemak dish, but it's still very nice. So you can try it yourself. Alright, so over here I have Mr. Cat and also his wife who is in the store, which is Miss Sophie. So they are actually the bosses behind Mr. and Mrs. Nasi Lemak. So we're going to ask him a few questions. So Mr. Ken, what made you decide to actually open Mr. and Mrs. Nasi Lemak? Okay, so basically I was actually working for the finance sector for the last 14 years. Oh, finance so sector. correct. So yeah, it's, change. Uh, yes, actually a lot of people ask me the same question. So yeah. uh, what happened was that our firm was being acquired by a competitor. So I was doing sales previously. So what happened is that because of this acquisition, my accounts are being like affected quite a lot. So I realized that uh, there's two choices for me. I mean, actually, there's a, a few choices for me in life. One is to carry on with the firm and uh, sort of like have the pay cut, which is uh, I think there's something I built over the years. Uh, those sales accounts, so there's a huge pay cut because uh, the competitor took away my accounts. Uh, second thing is to actually um, I can find another job within the industry, similar job, getting a paid salary every month, more stable. Or thirdly, I can come out and try doing my own business. So over, over the years, uh, while I was working, when the economy was stable, there was no COVID, uh, basically I always have plans to like, you know, venture into the F&B space, but I don't really have the time to actually proceed on further. So when COVID hits and then my job was being affected, I told myself, if I join another firm within the same industry, and uh, I'm 40 this year, by the way, so if I work for another 10 years, it'll be 50 years old. So if let's say if they find that uh, they, they want to retrench me because I'm 50 years old, I'm old, retrench me and then replace me with a, uh, like a fresh grad from uni, yeah. then I have to start all over again. So I don't wish to let this cycle keep repeating by itself. Yeah. So I decided to venture into FMB space. So I told my wife, you know, why don't we try to start a business? Let me resign and uh, why don't you resign as well? So that two of us can try to you know work together to build a brand for ourselves and a and a, yeah, a business yeah. to pass on to my future generations. Yeah. yeah, I have three kids by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Any challenges that like, uh, you are facing when you actually open the mm -hmm. store? Uh, there definitely there is a lot of challenges. Uh, one of the main challenges was the timing. So when we opened up was when we first opened this store was actually July uh, last year. There was actually the COVID period. Yeah. So COVID period over the last few months from July to end of the year, there's a lot of changes. It's very volatile. So basically two packs, five packs, work from home. So I think one of the main challenges uh, is trying to get crop to this area because when there is like a two pack situation or work from home, this area tends to be pretty quiet. Correct. It's mostly like a retiree this is actually a Lao Chi la. so it is it's quite quiet at times so now things get better because we have been around here for a few months so word spread so we have more and more regulars coming uh, from around Singapore like east, eastern part of Singapore like Tampines, Pongo they are coming out to try my food and then if they like it they will come and revisit yes, again <laughs> and I mean that's one of the, one of the challenges is the, the timing second challenges that I face is that I don't have any FMB background so because I was in the finance sector, right? Yeah. So all my cooking is more like a home based, like you know, cook for fun, uh, based based on videos, uh, 
YouTube so I learned a lot of self learning sort of and then it's using home, <laughs> home based fire stove so the fire is much smaller so for here it's like commercial so basically the fire is actually much bigger so when you cook something it's actually not easier it's faster to it's faster to get hot but easily get burned as well oh no so you have to really control the fire so that's something I have to actually uh, learn along, along the way because I don't have any FFB experience so I first opened this store I faced a lot of challenges one thing which I faced was the cooking of rice so because when we cook at home we use electric gas cooker so I actually tried cooking for a lot of people my friends my relatives uh, I think I let about 80 to 100 people try my food first before when they say it's okay it's good then I start the store but when it comes over to here it was a gas rice cooker so gas and gas is something I cannot replicate at home so what happens is that when I first started the store I faced a lot of issues like the rice wasn't nice partially cooked so that was when I told myself I have to try to improvise try to R&D again so that was when I spent a lot of uh, I, I spent a lot of time to try to cook a better batch of rice and this is my current set of rice which you just taken just now it's really fragrant I can <laughs> thank smell you, thank the you. pandan leaf and the coconut Okay, that's good, thanks. Do you all actually do pre-orders or take Uh, pre Yes, we, we do that because during COVID, right, everyone's working from home. So we actually enter a lot of platforms. This is something which they call Goodbye, which I learned over here. So Goodbye is basically they, they, they mass order and then they kind of collect the food and then distribute to their neighborhood. The first Goodbye is start, it started back in August, I think. So we've been doing for the last uh, four or five months, I guess. Other platforms heard about us, invited us to join their platform. And then there are smaller like hosts within like a hot condo that help us to also buy for their residents. Yeah, so all in all, Goodbye is one of them. Uh, another one that we do, we also are on Grab, Panda, correct. So that is something that I think most, most hawkers uh, actually are on all such all, all, all these platforms even though commission is quite high to be very honest it's yes. 30% and above but it helps us to actually um, reach out to people who are not willing to travel down especially COVID a lot of people are actually quite uh, anxious yeah. and so they try to stay more from home they try to order more through the party platforms obviously. it's more convenient also. convenient yeah great and um, we have another uh, platform called Cashier so Cashier, they actually employ third party uh, delivery drive riders to send the food to all around Singapore. So if you all go to our Facebook page, right, you can see our Cashier website. So basically you order from there and then they will get someone to send the food uh, to your place. And the, 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 the charges are based on distance. So they were based on how far you are from our store and then they quote you a price. So for your Facebook, it's also mm. called Mr. and Mrs. Nasdaq? Yes, correct. Mr. and Mrs. Nasdaq. Without the dot behind the Mr. I see. Yeah, right. So you guys can actually go and find it out on Facebook, then help them to like and share your Facebook page. Yeah, you can find anything like. Mm. For example, why, why do you love Nasi Lemak? I can show you there more. Oh, okay. Uh, I was, I mean, as like most Singaporeans, right, we are used to eating hawker food when we were young. So, I like Nasi Lemak for many, I mean, since I was young. And not only that, I also like a lot of other different foods, uh, to be honest, chicken rice, laksa. Uh, but for me, I was thinking that, you know, uh, since I like so many dishes, why don't I go and learn all these dishes? So, during the last two, three years, when things were quite volatile, I went to cooking classes and I also approached friends who are in the FMB line in the past. They left the industry because they find it very tiring. But they know how to cook. So they taught me what they learned over the years. So that's how that's how I actually like learned various dishes along the way. That's a fusion. Like, correct, correct. Right. So, so all these uh, I learned uh, from different coaches, uh, be it friends or, or paid coaches or even like a skill credit future. Yeah, okay. So I learned all these dishes. So for, for me it's that when I why Nasi Lemak? Because I like Nasi Lemak and I find that this is something that I can actually try to make it a bit something different. So how it works is that I try to uh, focus a lot on the, the plate itself. So uh, rice, chili, ikan bilis, all these are the main the main component of uh, a, a traditional Nasi Lemak. Okay. Basic guys. But I think rice is the most important because I mentioned earlier that my rice wasn't good initially. So whatever dishes that you cook like chicken wing, ikan bili, sambal chili which I make myself as well even all those are okay but if your rice is not okay the whole the whole the whole thing is spoiled already yeah so I focus on the main the main the main component and then I try to implement side dishes that I think that you know it could actually fit well because ultimately it's rice right and people go to like uh, Thai fan they order rice they order different type of dishes correct so mine is coconut rice so as long as you are able to take coconut 
you can actually add, off, add on all those side dishes you mix with it and Singapore like chili as well so there's chili there's coconut rice and then there's a lot of different uh, side dishes that we introduce chili is also yes correct uh, yeah I, I do from scratch so I have a blender I blend everything from scratch and I cook for a few hours yeah. is there anything else that you would like to share with uh, the, with all of them Okay, uh, like promotions, promotions uh. that might be ongoing. Okay, for the month of February, what we can do for, for, for those who are viewing this video, uh, basically, as long as you come down to our store and take, like, try our food, at the same time, take a picture, yeah, right, or check in whatsoever. So, take a picture and then video, and then after that, you share on Instagram or share on your Facebook. So, they might show it to you after that. Uh, yes. So what happens that what once they take, they don't have to show it immediately. But from the day that they take the video or, or photo, within the month of February, uh, 30 days, they can come back to our store just to show to us that okay, we share your store, we share your food, uh, we like your food to claim like a, a free a free like combo. So basically we're offering like a chicken wing combo for free or Ota combo for free. That is worth about four dollars. So, so either all like, either chicken wing or ota combo. So as long as you, sh you show us that you share, you can claim it within 30 days from the day you post. But the post must be in February because we can't keep it ongoing for too long. Yeah. So we, we open up to everybody for the month of February. Thank you, Mr. Thank, you. thank you so much for coming now. Yeah. Thanks for coming to our store. I hope you like our food. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. So thank you guys, and don't forget to skate down over here. And remember, uh, in the month of February, remember to take a photo and then you can show it to them. Then you can redeem a plate of either chicken wing, chicken wing combo or, or ota. The ota combo. Which yeah. comes with an egg, chicken belly, and rice and chili. Yeah. So don't, don't forget, forget to, to treat, treat yourself. yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. From? I'm from Philippines. Oh, hello. Nice. Nice? Nice. It's nice. I like the, I like the taste. Yeah. Yeah. Oh.